Hello and welcome to Nottingham Now and Then and today I'm in North Nottinghamshire at the stunning Newstead Abbey. Hello and welcome to Nottingham Now and Then and you'll see I'm on a train today because I'm going to be exploring the history of Nottingham's railway industry. How big was the building? I mean I've it got was, a picture of it there, that looks colossal, yes, I can't it even does. imagine. I, mean, I only saw the frontage of it, I used to see it from the vicar. I'm standing amongst the remains of an 18th century manor house and what's so exciting and fascinating about being here is that for the first time these foundations have been revealed since the place was abandoned all that time ago and finally we get to see how people used to live. What's this room? This is the strong room which we currently are using to store men's hats in but in the past the silver for Newstead Abbey and possibly the weaponry would have been stored in here. It's got a great atmosphere to it, hasn't it? It's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Well, outside, I would like to show you a footman's uniform. Oh, yes. From Nottingham? From Nottingham, made in Beeston. Are all your costumes from Nottingham? Not all of them, but we like to emphasise and we are collecting the ones that are. Now this is the Newstead Abbey Victorian kitchen. It's absolutely stunning. And it's one of the areas that the Abbey would like to open to the public full time, but they do need more volunteers to be able to do that. So this is a very special steam train. It's also the one we're going to be taking you out on later. So we'll go and meet the guys who are doing all the preparation work. So I'm going to take you behind the scenes to a place that people don't usually get to see unless you're on a pre-book guided tour. And it's a real lovely upstairs, downstairs part of Newstead Abbey. <laughs> oh, she's there. So she's in here because her wings have been clipped will she ever fly so they've actually grown back already if you look closely at the bird you can see her primary feathers are fully developed again now okay so what am i doing so what you want to do is you want to keep the blade of the trowel flat we move pull... around here yeah yeah if you could come around here keep it flat yeah and just pull back and try and remove this sort of gray brown soil can i do that on any bit here yeah, on any bit go for it just you know but for me, the history of our railways is best represented by the noisiest and dirtiest train of all, the steam train. My face is actually going red, it's so yes, hot in here. How yes. much coal do you need for one journey? Uh, well, it depends on the gradient, but um, you soon get through a few tons. Yeah, I bet uh, you do. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So they get enjoyed by everybody. They're not just locked up in dark yeah, rooms. Yeah, they won't just get forgotten. put in a dark room and, yeah. and left there. They'll, they get brought out and shown and further studied for different bits of research. So Mike, you've been involved in railways since you were a small child, so can you tell me a little bit about the heyday of railways in Nottingham? So have a look at this gorgeous old porter's lamp, and Arthur Barber, you're the person to tell us all about this. Yes, it, uh, it came from Netherfield and Colic. This plaque commemorates the men who worked at the station when war broke out, and it's extremely um, important to me because one of the names up there, C. Smith, is Charles Smith, who was my great granddad. Do you feel that keeping structures like this that aren't of any use anymore, is it just romantic nostalgia? Uh, sometimes, I mean, with historic buildings, that's always going to be the case. We use electric pumps and all that sort of thing, yeah. instead of gravity, which was the way yeah. of, of well, the old breweries. No, no, <laughs> you know I mean, there is a limit, the yes. <laughs> we just don't, uh, don't make things in brass anymore. No. Don't make them like we used to, <laughs> exactly. do we? <laughs> exactly. 